Hi, I'm Marcel James. Welcome to my review of the Sphere L22 microphone system from Townsend Labs, recently acquired by Universal Audio. I have segmented this review into eight parts. First, seven great reasons to own a Sphere L22. And the eighth part is bonus content. I created a significant amount of content to show you the sound of the microphone with the various models in both singing and speaking. But I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. There are links in the description below where you can hear all that bonus content. Now, the first reason to own a Sphere L22 is it just sounds great. For many months, when I first got the microphone, I didn't even use the modeling. I was so pleased with the sound of it, I got right to work. And here is a clip or a couple clips of some music that I released using just the front capsule. It's broken down into front and back capsule with a breakout cable going to two XLRs. So if you only want to use it as a cardioid microphone, meaning front capsule only, you can plug in the white connector and that's what you get, just the microphone. So check out this content recorded with just the front capsule of the Sphere. And it shines. In the thumb, you can find what you're looking for forever dream. It's time to change our minds. Decide that we can make it if we only try to have fun. So let's get to reason number two, the amazing plugin. Yes, I worked without the plugin for many months, but once I dove into the plugin, I was blown away with the sound quality of the various models, the flavors that I can get, and also the capabilities. One thing in particular, the Isosphere, which is new to version 1.51, which I'm reviewing here. Basically, isolation products have their own sound. And what the plugin does is it accounts for this and offsets any additional bass frequency that may be added by that isolation product, et cetera, et cetera. I find that it works great in a room that I work in, an open room, as well as my own isolation box. So I use the first setting. I'm going to turn that off for you now. And now you're hearing it without the isosphere engaged. And it's a little boomier because I have some low frequency issues in my room. But when I turn it back on, it accounts for that and miraculously removes that boominess. So now we're turned back on again, and you can hear a much clearer, more direct recording. So this is a really cool aspect of the newest version of uh, the Townsend Labs plugin. The other cool things that you can do are, besides select your models, and there are a plethora of classic models included. I use the 251 for voice stuff. That, so when I'm doing podcasting or blogs or reviews, this is the microphone that sounds best for my voice I feel. Um, there are also small condenser mics, ribbons, even dynamic flavors. But more on that again later. Um, the patterns, if you see a pattern, if you have a mic selected and the patterns are lit up in green, those are the ones that are modeled from the original. Those came with the original microphone. But you also have access to the other patterns in between. So it really gives you a lot of options even beyond the capabilities of the mics that they're modeling. Same thing goes for the filters. If you see those lit up in green, those are replicas of the filter settings that came with the original microphone. If not, they're just three different different uh, high pass or low cut filters that come with each and every model. So again, you have more capabilities than the original mic itself. You can also affect the off axis response. So if I'm to the left or the right, now my microphone is sideways, which minimizes axis response, also makes it easier for me to move around. So when I wanna work in my isolation box that I made, 
I can just turn the microphone around and poke it right into that box and record vocals that way. So I use this for convenience, plus I can talk right over the mic when I'm making videos. But if you want to, uh, if you're moving left and right of the microphone and you want to, or maybe you want to offset somebody on the microphone to minimize S sounds. Now I use a de-esser, which I'll link, uh, put a link to that one. Uh, it's RX-8 de-esser, but I'll put a link to that review also here. In fact, I uh, review all of my vocal chain, so I'll also put a link to the entire vocal chain in this review. Now, the access response, why would I want to be off access? Well, again, it may dampen certain parts of the top end to make it a little nicer on the ear to avoid using even more processing. Proximity effect is how close or far I am from the microphone. Some cool applications for voice artists, for example, would be maybe you are creating something very intimate. Maybe you're doing a voiceover where you're whispering or you're talking and you want a lot of impact. You could create the proximity effect of being closer to the microphone than you actually are. So there are applications like that that you could use this for. Another very cool thing and powerful feature is the dual mode. The dual mode of the plugin allows you to blend the flavors of two different mic models. So you can essentially create your own microphone sound from by mixing two different microphones together. In the dual mode, you have some other EQ settings as well, some parameters you can control. Now there's also a stereo version. Because you have two microphones, you may be wondering, hey, could I use this as a stereo microphone? So there's a stereo version of this plugin as well, where you could put the microphone on stage, for example, and record in stereo everything that's going on, and then use the modeling on the stereo microphone as well. So very flexible, lots of capabilities, a wonderful plugin, and I now at the beginning I didn't use it at all, and now I use it on everything that I do. Reason number three to own the Sphere L22 is the UA, Universal Audio Affiliation. Now, as I mentioned recently, uh, Universal Audio acquired Townsend Labs. So they now own this microphone and I expect it'll be rebranded in some way that includes that UA badge or logo. And, and, but we're, we're gonna have to wait to see how that plays out in that regard. However, if you're a UA or a UAD platform user, you already have built-in advantages that make this microphone even more powerful for you. For example, the UAD platform includes their version, the, the a UAD version of the plugin, so you can, in real time, through the console, track, or close to real time, very low latency, you can track with the models. So you can adjust the models as you're tracking, change them later, if you will. You can record with or without the models. One extra thing about the plugin itself, if you own the microphone and you record it and send it off to an engineer who's mixing for you, he can download the plugin for free and then apply the models that he feels fit with his mix on your sound. So this is a very powerful aspect. They're the only company out there that I'm aware of that, do that allows for this, that does this. And that is really, really something that engineers have always wanted to be able to do. I've heard from so many big engineers over the years, gosh, I wish they would have used a different mic on this singer. It would have sounded so much better with this other flavor. And now you can do that uh, with the Sphere system by just using the plugin on those recorded tracks. So something very cool to think about for you. Reason number four to own the Sphere L22 is the complete package that's included. You, uh, yes, you get the plugin. Yes, you get the two capsules, a microphone that sounds great without the plugin, but you also get the plugin. But you also get a shock mount, a cool carrying case, and um, the breakout cable was included as well, as well as a mic clip. So you don't have to use the shock mount if you don't want to. So that really creates an attractive package. They really thought of about everything that you could want to have with the microphone itself. Reason number five is the Facebook user group. The user group is so cool for this product. Those guys are great. You should go up there. If you're just researching the microphone, even if you haven't purchased yet, you should go up there and check that out. They're up there every almost every hour there's somebody posting on that user group and they're very helpful if you have questions. They also post their own presets and share those with other users. So there's some very, and the principles of the of Townsend Labs who are now with UAA are often up on that user group as well, answering questions, liking comments. So that's very reassuring as well, which leads me 
to reason number six to own the Sphere L22. Reason number six is the amazing support that this product has. Um, I mentioned the principals. They are Chris, Chris Townsend and Eric Papp. Uh, Julian David was also very involved with uh, video content uh, with the company as well. And those guys have been amazing to me and to other users. Matter of fact, I find myself wishing they made more products. And maybe now with that affiliation with UA, we'll see some more cool new things come from all this technology. Just simply because they do such a good job with these products. I think the brand loyalty is so strong that a lot of customers would just buy anything that they made. Also in regards to the support is the user manual. Now, they call it a user guide. A lot of times these manuals uh, are tough to read and they are um, translated from some other foreign language and you get one or two pages into them and you lose interest right away. This one is laid out very, very well, very, very well. It's very helpful. Uh, a lot of great information about applications, how to use it in certain applications, uh, explaining how to set it up. Uh, I just think that they did an amazing job with the manual, and that's a great resource and another reason in and of itself to own the microphone. Reason number seven is the exceptional customer satisfaction. And this means a lot when you buy any product, anything that you want to maintain its value. Because customers love this product, it's often sold out. That also helps if you ever did need to sell the product later on down the road, the resale value remains very high for these microphones because people just love them. They're very sought after. So the customer satisfaction, for example, five-star reviews. If you go up to Sweetwater, and by the way, there's a Sweetwater affiliate link in the description as well of this video, where you can support this channel if you pick up a Sphere. Um, customer satisfaction, five-star reviews average at Sweetwater with 88 reviews as of today. 88 people reviewed this with a five-star average for a $1,500 product. That is rare. That is just not very common. And you read through those, and there are so many supportive, positive comments that I think it just takes away any concern you would have of buying this if you're looking at it. Now, I will say as a caveat, I want to offer um, whatever perceived negative I can of the product. And the only things I can see is that if you're a videographer, podcaster, voice talent, and you don't want to have a studio microphone in front of you, then you may want to be researching a lapel mic, something that attaches to your clothes that's more invisible. Um, the sound quality is not going to be as high as this, but you can get good sound quality with a lapel mic. The other reason may be if you need to hand hold the microphone, you're concerned about handling noise. The reason this condenser microphone has a shock mount is because it cannot handle handling noise very well. So then you want to look into a dynamic microphone, a handheld microphone, something that isn't powered the way this one is with phantom power. That's why you see the lights coming on on the microphone itself. It's when it's receiving phantom power to both capsules, the light lights up on the microphone. So that bonus eighth reason to own a Sphere L22, I'm giving you a ton of bonus content. 72 uh, video shorts, YouTube short videos, and the links are in the description. Basically, I recorded all of the models with a singing uh, performance, and then all of the models again with a voiceover performance to give both singers and voice artists an idea of what the mic would sound like going through all of the models. And I'm posting that as well in the description, so as I said, so you can check those out, click on them. The one note I want to make there is click on and then click off. You have to stop each one. Sorry, that's just the way my page is set up. So you want to listen to one, stop it, listen to another, stop it. So just a note there and, and how to use that page to your advantage. Um, I want to thank you for watching. Again, links in the description to the product and all of the bonus content and the various reviews that I mentioned as far as the different tools that I use along with this microphone. I hope this was helpful. It's really fun to review something that I like so much because I do get legitimately enthusiastic about it. And I've been excited about this product ever since I got it last year. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.